Capacity control of a refrigeration plant can be defined as a system which monitors and controls the output of the plant as per the load on demand. As the load, temperature, of one room is reached to its required temperature, there will be no more need of the refrigerant for cooling. Hence, the solenoid valve supplying refrigerant to that room will shut. The system consists of a capacity control valve with a control piston backed by spring. The oil supply pressure in the capacity control valve is regulated by capacity regulation valve. One branch of the capacity control valve is supplied with oil from the supply pump of the compressor at constant pressure. This valve had several grooves bored into its periphery and connected to the unloader mechanism of different units. The capacity regulation valve also comprises of piston and spring assembly which acts opposite to the crankcase pressure. The refrigeration compressor consists of different units working in parallel to cope up with the load. As the load decreases, the capacity control system cut off one or more units, depending upon the load, and maintains the efficiency of the plant by reducing stress on different parts. By default, the unloader's assembly keeps the suction valve in open positions. Once the load demand in the system increases, the pressure in the crankcase will also increase. This will press the piston of capacity regulation valve, cutting off oil supply and blocking the oil supply to unloader unit. This will close the suction valve and that unit will come to action. If the demand is very high, the pressure in the crankcase will increase, pushing the regulating piston and cutting off oil supply to all unloader units. This will bring all the units in operation to cater the load demand. A leak-proof seal must be maintained to prevent the refrigerant and oil from escaping and also to prevent air from entering the crankcase when the pressure in the crankcase is lower than the surrounding atmospheric pressure. There are several types of seals, including the rotary seal and the diaphragm. The rotary seal consists of a stationary cover plate and gasket, a rotating assembly which includes a carbon ring, a neoprene seal, a compressor spring, and compression washers. If you have any questions or suggestions, please drop your comments below and we'll get back to you at the earliest. If you like this video, please subscribe to the Marine Insight channel and press the bell icon to get notified when we post such amazing videos. Please like, comment and share this video and do not forget to subscribe to our channel.